Tony's in the ER with Christina. She's been beaten up twice in a month, and he wants it resolved tonight. What do you know about Christina's boyfriend, Kiefer Bauer? Huh. Well, uh, Michael doesn't like him. He's picked fights with Michael, bullied Morgan, and actually, you know, Carly doesn't like the way that, that Kiefer treats Christina. Why? Apparently, she saw Kiefer manhandle Christina at some point. You know what? She actually thinks that it's Kiefer who's been beating Christina up, not Ethan. Wait, Christina's back at the... Told you the handsome guy did it. I totally called the ending of the movie halfway through. Oh, come on, that's because you're thinking like a P.I. <laughs> so, maybe I can help you with some cases at McCall and Jackal? Oh, yeah, well... Uh, have you figured them out first? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that SUV must have skidded off the road. God, I really hope no one got hurt. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody in it. I think it's Kiefer's car. <clears throat> Kiefer Bauer, did you tonight? Yes. <sighs> Was it Kiefer who did it before? for a long Just start from the beginning, okay? It was uh, the night of March the 12th, the first time Kiefer hit you. No. You hit me a few times before. I guess I should have told someone then. <clears throat> no, it's okay. You were doing... You were doing what you thought you had to do. How did it happen? Keeper would get mad sometimes about something I said or did. It would always happen so fast. One minute we'd be talking and the next he'd suddenly be angry and slap me or hit me. Kiefer would always say he was sorry. I tried to break up with him twice. But he said he left me. And then he'd never do it again. He was really upset and he said he needed me to believe in him. Yeah, it must have been tough for you to say no. I felt like I was walking on eggshells, never knowing when he'd lose it. That he'd be so sweet and I'd feel guilty for telling him to stay away from me. Does that sound stupid? No, no, not at all. I guess I, I still want a Kiefer to like me. He's captain of the basketball team going to Harvard in the fall. He could have dated any girl he wanted. So he chose me. He wanted you to go with him to that party on the 12th. I said I'd go. He even bought me the dress, but I lied. I went to see Ethan instead. That's why he was so mad. It's really my fault. No, no, it is, it is not your fault, okay? This was all on him. But it's never gonna happen again. Jason? Did you send him after Kiefer? You don't have to worry about that now. Dad, please don't let Jason hurt him. We need to run another blood panel. I'll get her settled in a room. Could you all please wait outside? I was in the ER with a suspect before because I had no proof. All I knew was Carly didn't like the guy. I can't go off of that. I figured if, if Kiefer was the one who had attacked Christina, you would get there. Well, I did, but there's still no hard evidence. What do you have? 
All right, the, the night of the first attack, Christina was supposed to go to a party thrown by one of Kiefer's friends. And that friend told me that Kiefer was over the top, angry, waiting around for her. He finally took off somewhere between 8.30 and 9. Now, at 9.30, Alexis's neighbor saw a light color SUV, just like the one Kiefer drives, leave the Davises. Timing fits. Yeah. It was after Sam dropped Christina off and before Ethan got there. Exactly. Now, now, Dante and I talked to Kiefer tonight. He was nervous and defensive, and now I'm afraid he... he... Second. It's Dante. What's going on? Christina just identified Kiefer Bauer as her attacker both times. We gotta find this son of a bitch. Are you sure that was Kiefer's SUV? Positive. He's picked up Christina in it about a million times before. And that was his basketball jersey in the back seat. Well, he took a pretty nasty slide off the side of the road. I wonder what happened. His tires weren't even damaged. How about we put on our detective hats and figure it out? Okay, I like the sound of that. You first. What's your theory? Well, Kiefer was being followed. So he slid off the road and ran away to escape. Oh, really? And, and locked the doors first <laughs> so the bad guys couldn't get in and steal his basketball jersey? Okay, your turn. What's your theory? Okay, well, I think that maybe he was driving like we are right now and then a deer or, or a dog ran in the middle of the road and he swerved off and, I don't know, had to walk somewhere like the gas station because his reception was bad. What? Is that in the ditch? It looks like a person. There's Johnson, call extension 2110. There's a good name, Johnson, call extension 2110. Must be so mad at me for lying about Kiefer. Honey, I'm not mad at you. I will never be mad at you. You didn't do anything wrong. This isn't your fault. I caused so much trouble. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're an incredible, beautiful, beautiful girl, and you didn't do anything wrong. You've got to believe me. Did you ask Dad where Jason is? Did he send him after Kiefer? Honey, I don't know where he Please went. I know I'll that press charges against Kiefer you. if you That's want, but don't I let know. Dad hurt him. Okay. Okay. I know my reception's going in and out. I am, uh, I'm here with the victim. We're on the side of Cherry Lane, about two miles north of East Away. Yeah, just, yes, of course. We'll wait for an ambulance to get here. We'll wait with them, yeah. Okay, thank you. Kiefer, hey, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait with you, okay? Who would do this, Sam? Who would run someone down and then just keep driving? How could they not even care? Hey, Molly, you know what? It's really dark out and we could be a really big truck, and if they would have hit him, they probably have no idea. Molly. Kiefer, don't move, don't move. Our Max will be here really soon. Hey, do you know what happened? Look, look at me. The car. Did you see who it was? Yeah. How's Christina doing? They're still running tests. So far, there don't seem to be any broken bones or internal injuries. She's in room 610. All right, thanks. Hey. Uh, she's taking a rest. How's she holding up? That was brutal. I mean, she didn't even get her a chance to heal from the first one, yeah? Did she ID Kiefer as her attacker? Uh, yeah. I put out that APB. Okay. You know, the Bowers are gonna fight this tooth and nail. Kiefer's dad is a, a top attorney himself. He'll hire the best defense money can buy. And he's gonna challenge Christina's statement because she lied before. She couldn't tell the truth for months. I don't know, tonight when I uh, sat with her, I saw trust in her eyes, you know? I think she felt safe with me, you know? Like she could tell the truth. That's weird. I grew, I grew up my whole life thinking I was, I was an only child, and I got a couple brothers and a sister, and part of it feels new, and part of it feels like we've had this, this connection for a long time. Yeah. Well, speaking of siblings, I'll let Ethan know that he's off the hook. Is Jason, though? 
Sure. Yeah, I was I was with him when you called, actually. Great, so he's loading his gun. We gotta find Kiefer before he does. Uh, I know you don't think much of Jason, but if Sonny had ordered anyone else to take Ethan out, he wouldn't be alive right now. 